Gordon, um, after such a, a big win and performance last week, that must be quite disappointing today. Um, yeah, the outcome is very disappointing and, and I think to be fair to the players for big parts of it today, I think the attitude and the application was there um, and, and very, very similar to, to what we got from that point of view last week. I just think the disappointing thing was when you, when you reflect for, for all the possession that we had and for all the play that we had, I don't think we've troubled their goalkeeper enough or in any way close to the amount of chances that we created last week and I think it was just our choices and decision making in the final third have, have really let us down. How disappointing was that? Very disappointing um, and again I think we started the game really well, we got into a lot of good opportunities early but we can't put the ball in the box or we struggle, you know, we struggle to get a good delivery and or beat the first man and um, I think when you get in those areas it's so important, particularly early in the game, you know, to get in the front foot and to put, and to put the ball in there and, and I think that was you know, just disappointing today but and I think also you know I think it's four or five games since we've conceded it from a set piece and we've worked tremendously hard to try and eradicate that from our play and, and credit to the players but we had gone on a good run of being able to do that and I just think the manner of their two goals you know to be at home in a, in a clash like this and to concede one from a corner and one from a, a free kick and expect to win the game makes it makes it an uphill struggle. I don't want to get you into trouble with the authorities but I think um, there might have been a few frustrating aspects of sort of decisions that were made by the referee today. I think the, the foul leading up to the second time and goal, um, maybe question marks over Simeon's red card as well. Yeah, the foul for the, foul for the second goal, I don't know. He blows a whistle, it's about, the ball's travelled over the right back and Hodge is travelling up the right hand side of the pitch here and he blows a whistle then for something that, that I don't think anybody um, knew what was happening. Um, and the one for Simeon's, I don't know, those are the easy ones, those are the highly frustrating ones where um, you know he's clearly through on goal. The weight of the pass that he's clearly going to get onto the ball, and he and he has a he has a shot and a chance at goal. He's out. If he's inside the penalty box, it's a penalty and a yellow card because you don't get a double whammy. But because he's outside the 18-yard box, it's a it's a free kick but a red card. Um, and I, I'm I'm still flabbergasted to be honest with you. I'm standing just thinking, here we go. We're back in this. It's two one. We're on the front foot. Um, this is a red now. They're down to ten men, and we'll really go and have a, have a go at this. And, and I just can't. I, I still just can't get where a yellow card comes out. Of. Even looking at um, Simeon sending off today, it seemed like his, his first booking was really harsh. It was. I think he's just jumped, and, and I think the guy has gone down screaming and made a meal out of it, and then made one of those recoveries again, where he's, where he's right back up onto his feet. And, and again, probably you just. I don't know the referee from that point of view. I just. I just think needed to be a lot stronger today. I needed to show a lot more strength in relation to you know even their goalkeeper was was wasting time from the second minute of the game in relation to and it was never nipped in the bud. It was never dealt with. And I suppose it just set the tone for the whole day in relation to how he was and how he, how he allowed them to play the game. I know results are sort of the be all and end all, but are there positives you can take from today? Yeah, but I think you know with the best will in the world, even when it went to ten men, we still had a go. Uh, you know, Danny is one that hits the bar. He's another g decent chance after it. We have a couple of other sniffs at goal, um, but it just turned into that last 15 or 20 minutes. I think a goal then would have been a catalyst for a decent for a finish and possibly maybe um, getting something out of the game. Um, but I suppose it's one of those that just turned out to be a highly frustrating day. Yeah, you talk about if you could have got that goal. Obviously, you mentioned the one that Danny hits the bar. Another few chances. I think Cody sticks one wide as well. Did you feel it was maybe just one of those days? Um, you, you can get that feeling, but it's those wee moments I think that change it. And, and all of a sudden, and I said that to the guys after the game. And I know maybe they're not in the place at the minute to do it, but I've been involved with plenty of teams in the past and seen it happen plenty of times before, where ten men can come back and. And, and and get something in a game. It's not unheard of for it to happen and um, the important thing is to I suppose to go about it a slightly different way tactically but to still try and create chances and, and I thought as you say we did you know Stephen has put that one across the back to Cody, probably the one that Danny hits the bar. Danny is a header, I don't think he realises how much space he has at the back post. So we've we've three probably decent chances there where if we maybe take one of those it, it maybe it's there's a momentum swing again where where it scares them and possibly we, we get a, a grandstand finish, but I think that was just that finish was lacking and, and it's cost us. In terms of the first half, you made a, a tactical change. You brought Ian McShane off and brought Ryan Edwards on. What was the thinking behind that? I was just, for, I, I just, I just felt I didn't want the game to slip away from us, and I felt at that point in time, um, for as well as as Ian and Stephen had gone on last week, I just felt we needed more energy in the middle of the park, and and, and again that was, I, I didn't think. Kyle, we were getting the maximum output out of Kyle um, in a wide area, and again, it's just one of those tactical ones. It's unfortunate. It's one you fight with yourself for ten minutes in relation to doing because it's not something that you like to do or want to do, and it's a no taint of vein or no way 
against him, but in the same stretch, you just you have to make those decisions and, and stand over. You brought Cody Quick on as well. Um, he's obviously worked very hard in training the last couple of weeks in for the reserves. Uh, how pleased are you with what he showed when he came on? He has, and and, and again, pretty when we scored a hat trick in midweek, and it's one of those. I suppose that's why you give him the first nod to get on the pitch. You're hoping with that wee bit of momentum or that wee bit of buzz from there that it happens. And it's just disappointing that we go down to ten men pretty much straight away, um, which doesn't give him possibly the best chance to go and. and um, and help us in that area of the pitch that you know the game obviously changes. So um, the impact of our subs has been really good in recent weeks. You know, Danny and Cammy come on the fought last week, the week before that, Danny and Cammy again both come on and did really, really well and it's it's important that you get that impact. Two big games next week away to Hibs during the week and then away to Livingston next weekend. How do you approach those? Yeah, back to drawing board uh, and that's what we said, you know, to the fellas in there. It was it was, you know, there's so much work to do. It's not one of those we can sit and feel sorry for ourselves in relation to what's happened. It's three points gone. But the important thing is now, we, you know, we had got close to Raylan Hamilton and then, uh, they've gone ahead of us again and it's important now that, that we try and, um, and get them back down closer to us again and, and that starts on Wednesday night. Warren, thanks very much. Cheers.